Finally, whether we're talking about reflective or non-reflective beliefs, uh, whether we're talking about what's maturationally natural or what's a practice naturalness, the Christian community has at its disposal this really great advantage, and that is it has a stockpile of scaffolding that allows for us to move between these two different systems of thought. Think, for example, about what the Christian tradition normally traffics in. It's a a system in which we routinize and we ritualize a number of practices that go around some of the most counterintuitive beliefs that you can imagine. Think about the incarnation, <laughs> that a God who is spirit becomes present in the flesh of a man in human history, then dies and now is once again risen, and at some point we will participate in the life of God to come. This is a really counterintuitive idea, and yet we have at our disposal these rituals where we practice time and time again together the death, the incarnation, the death, and the resurrection of that God in a way that scaffolds the teaching around those beliefs in really, really important ways. So one of the things that the cognitive sciences help us with is to recognize the, the resources that we already have at our disposal. And if we can be more strategic about those, if we can treat our rituals, um, our religious devotional practices, not as sort of these perfunctory acts that we kind of go through the motions, but instead are the necessary resources for our teaching, for our training, and for our discipleship, then all of a sudden we maximize their potential in some really incredible and unique ways. Because ultimately what we're seeking to do as Christian leaders is to take all the thoughts and all the thinking that we have about God, all of those reflective beliefs, and ultimately uh, disciple people, lead people, teach people, form people in ways that those reflective beliefs become non-reflective. They become a form of practiced naturalness where we then go out in the world and we live as if we are followers of that God who became flesh.